What's up, everybody? Ball in the VA, Voice at Media. We are raffling off four tickets to the Virginia Tech Marshall football game in West Virginia, Marshall University, that is. September 22nd, 2023, on the 50-yard line, courtesy of Marshall University and Danny and Derek Cott. The description is going to be in the link, so y'all stay tuned for details, man. We're going to hook this up. I'll be up there. Voice at be there. We're going to have a good, good time, bro. See y'all later. Welcome to another episode of Ballin' in VA. Today, man, you know, we taking it back. We got the old school. We got the new school in here. We got the Derek Cott family in here. First, we're going to start off with the man of the hour because, you know, this guy I've been trying to get on for a while, and it just kind of happened. You just kind of fell into my lap when I got that phone call from you. Um, I don't know who gave you my number. Was Kennard or uh, yeah. Keechwan or somebody? But like I said, shout out to the guys, man. I got Mr. Danielle, Derek Cott, 1994, State Player of the Year, Patrick Henry. Should be in the Hall of Fame at Patrick Henry. We will talk about that, Patrick <laughs> Henry, because it's a travesty <laughs> on why he ain't in there. You know, y'all should have a statue of that man up there outside the school. But that's a whole different story. Um, Fork Union. Um, you should be in the Hall of Fame there, right? Yes, sir. You know, and then Marshall University just recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. DB's coach out there. So, man, what is happening, bro? How you doing today, Lee? I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to go on down the list. I got my man Miles Derricott, and I got Will Noel Jr. in the house from Verona and Glen Island, respectively. What's happening, fellas? What's up? What's up? What's up? Well, first of all, no disrespect, Will. I'm, I'm kind of I gotta talk to the champs first, and then we'll go down. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just I just want to give them their due. But I'm gonna come back sure. to you first because we ain't gonna leave you out here. But first, let me, let me mess with Miles since he's local. You know, what I'm saying that's very very more recent. Coming off that state championship basketball performance, yes sir. Um, y'all had me scared that uh, Kings Kings Fort game, man. Yeah, yeah, I thought y'all was gonna lose that one. But um, nah. what's been happening, man? None much. Um, really just been working out with um, Virginia Union, mm -hmm. getting myself, um, like, just, just trying to get ready for them um, physically, mentally, mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's, it's definitely different than high school. Okay. Um, Coaching-wise, weight room, fast pace, everything is a little different, but I'm still getting there. Um, I'm making sure I'm getting into that playbook because college, like the college playbook and the high school playbook is like, way different so i'm just making sure i'm a student in the game as mm -hmm. as mental because like college is like mental physical everything so i'm just making sure i'm doing my part well you got somebody here that's in your family man that can give you some of those you know tidbits that you're going to need to get to that next level yes, but for, for people who don't know you let me go through some stats man and let these people know what virginia union gonna be getting yes, you sir. know and if i'm wrong you correct me okay <laughs> don't, right, don't, don't, don't don't have a problem with stopping because <laughs> it's pretty long so i need y'all to bail with me now yeah all right mr Derek cott nominated player of the week for richmond times dispatch october 22 three times Honorable mention quarterback in 2021. Regional championship football they won at Verano. Won the regional championship in 21 and 22. Actually, uh, both of those years. Won the regional championship in basketball in 2023. You got some hardware, bro. You <laughs> yeah. should, you, you, I think you're going to be in the Verano Hall of Fame yeah, I, next. Hey, I'm, I'm telling you, I need to be there. <laughs> okay, you, 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 you have it. Uh, state championship in football. Uh, I think y'all was the first to do that, right? Yes, sir. School history. Because and, yes, and, and, that was some teams in Verona. They should have won, but yeah. they ain't going to talk about that neither. Yeah. I got on them about that. Uh, leading passing in yards, uh, 2023. That's school record. Mm -hmm. State championship in basketball, 2022, 23. So you got three rings. Yes, sir. So you do got something up on him, right? Yeah, I got, I got three uh, rings. Okay. So <laughs> third third one wear. coming in soon. Shout out, Coach don't, Boom. Coach don't, don't do that, man. <laughs> don't, don't do that. We already know who got the most rings. <laughs> uh, second team, all Metro quarterback, 2022, 2023. 2022, second team all region basketball 2023. Y'all gotta excuse me, I got these retainers in my mouth, so I'm trying to work with that. <laughs> um, honorable mention basketball 2023. 804, 80, 804 All Star Basketball 2023. Decker member four years, 50 plus hours community service this year. Equity Ambassador 2023, National Honor Society, Athlete of the Year, Black Student Associate Member 2023. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's awarded of that, man. That that's that's y'all look. <laughs> give it up for this brother, man. <laughs> man, that that's I ain't know you had all that. Yeah. 
I mean, I had a pretty good career. So let me ask you a question because, you know, well, I'm going to get to you. But let me ask you a question. What y'all, what the family cookouts is like, man? Because I want to know what the Christmas is or the Thanksgiving, all all that stuff like that. The family cookouts, you know, the biggest topic is is always who's the, who's the, who's the so-called goat in the family. Who's the goat? So... He he's probably the most like he er, he he probably the only one that I say himself for real for real. Everybody has been, <laughs> everybody has really gotten to know like that is me. Hey, you Cause know, like because nobody can compare the high school career to mine. Yo, he, he'll say player of the year. Right, you got that. You're right. I got three state. If we talking about strictly high school, no, I got okay, more so, rings than so you. So now you talking about strictly high school. Yeah, okay, talking so about high school. school. Okay. I ain't get the college. Because yeah. basically he said he ain't finished yet. Yeah, I ain't. But but I'm just saying this was a bad boy oh, right yeah, here. Hey. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. You, you ever see the uh, the five hobbies? Yeah. Do you want to hang with old Eddie King? Yeah. Yeah. See, he don't know about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'm like old Eddie King in the five hobbies. You know what I mean? So, well, we sit here messing around with these guys, man. Listen, look, look. How long you know him? I know Miles for about like probably two years now. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you you be hearing these rivalries yeah, stuff do, like I that? I be hearing them go back and forth. Okay. So who be winning? Who be winning the battles when they be talking? I mean, like, none of them really back down. They be going at it for a while, but Danny be trying to get away with it. (laughs) (laughs) So, so, like, but, but like, I would try to tell Miles, it's just all fun and games. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I just want him to realize, man, like, it's a tradition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so you have your uncles and you have your fathers Mm -hmm. that you can talk trash to. Right. And so it's just all fun. Mm -hmm. Um, And I tell both of these young men, what they're about to experience in college Mm -hmm. is going to be totally different. Um, Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be it's going to be great for them. both of them. Some good young men. Mm-hmm. They can play, you know, it's just about just knowing the playbook, getting into the know the playbook. OK. Um, and like I said, Miles going to Virginia Union, Virginia University. Mm-hmm. And um, um, Will is going to West Virginia State University. And Will, let me read some of your accomplishments, man, because like I said, we don't get out there. You know, you played at Glen Island High School. And like I told you off air, you know, <laughs> what'd you say? They don't get no love. They don't get no love. Now, <laughs> now, give, y'all got to give me some credit. I did put the basketball team out there, the yeah. boys and girls team. I went out to the school, even show off some love. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Glen Island. We're going to get y'all some it's more getting, time. It's getting better out there, though. Yeah, well, we're going to try to. Y'all got that nice facility out there. Yeah, it looked do. real nice out there. We didn't, you know, y'all time is coming. But, you know, let me let's read some accomplishments that you got, man. You know, your top recruit for West Virginia State University. Shout out to that. But your parents ain't got to pay nothing. You know, 2022 Glen Island School MVP. Second team all region running back. Richmond Times is player, player of the week, second place, week three. River City Rivals all-star team. All Metro honorable mention. 82 rushes, 507 yards rushing, 11 TDs. Defense, nine tackles for loss, 60 uh, tackles, four price breakups, and two sacks. If you got anything you want to add? That sounds good. Okay, uh, we can go from there, man. Um, how was your – well, first of all, how was the recruiting process for you, and, and, and did uh, Daniel actually help you with that? Yeah, Daniel definitely helped me out with my recruiting process, uh, getting me up to a bunch of different colleges. Mm-hmm. But uh, their process was long, like – at some like sometimes I think like I don't know if I can go play in college because like no schools are coming out to Glen Allen like I'll get called down to the office and it'll be like the same school it'll be like Randolph Macon so I was like I don't want to go to Randolph Macon mm-hmm. so but then it's like I put the work in uh I started showing myself I can play against like big comp big talent around the area playing like Verina mm-hmm. playing uh what else who else I play Hermitage yeah I play Herm like all those teams and I just showed out and all those games and schools started coming and visiting more and uh, coaches started hitting my DMs more on Twitter. So it started booming after that. Okay, well, that's good. Well, you know I'm about to ask you a question. I, I don't know the answer to this, so but I'm also going to start some stuff. All right, bet. Did Verona and Glen Island play football against each other yeah. in four years ago there? How many times? I played them twice. Who won? They won both times. That's, like, that's not even a good one. <laughs> like, you, like, you knew that. Like, <laughs> like, the second time, like my senior year, like we played, but it felt way different from my junior year. Like when I was playing in my senior year, like I, like every play I felt confident. Like I felt like I was ready to make a play. Mm-hmm. Like it just felt, it felt, I felt more comfortable out there. Did but you, it was, did you hit him? Yeah, I sacked him. But okay. he he bought me though. Like on one play, he, he, he did me bad. He did me bad. But I sacked him like at least 10 yards back. Okay. 
Miles looks in. I don't like, remember that. Yeah, I have. I can pull. I can pull up the clip. <laughs> yeah, you got sacked, Miles. Come on. <laughs> we so, won the game. Yeah, like yeah. you won the game, right? Okay. So that matters to me. No. So let me ask y'all to uh, a quick question. If okay. Me, no, go ahead, man. Um, is y'all excited about going to school? What's what's y'all preparation is going to be? Um, and um, and how do you feel about um, going to West Virginia State? Well, I'm gonna ask you first. All right. So um, I've been like the way I've been preparing, I've been preparing my body like mentally, physically, I've been working out my trainer every morning. Well, not every morning, but at least like four times a week. And then um, I'll go to the field, condition myself, just getting ready for like the practice. Uh, first practice is August uh, 4th. So it's two days after I get there. So right when I get there, I have to get started. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get uh, get to get started working with my team. And then I've been talking to my uh, defensive coordinator and he's excited for me to get up there and start uh, getting like finding out the coverages and all that. So he's excited for me to get up there. What position are you going to play when you get up there? Safety. They're going to move you around from like strong to free to mm-hmm. like the rover. So I'll play uh, I'll play like in the slot against the slot receivers, but they might like like in different formations, they might like throw me down in the box and all that. Mm, Miles? So um, I make sure I work out at least five, six times a, uh, a day a week. Um, but I also work out with Virginia Union. So we got vol- voluntary workouts, but to me it's mandatory. Because mm-hmm. I'm a freshman, I'm coming in with the mindset I want to come as a starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. So I'm making sure I prepare myself for that, and I'm making sure that I just don't tell my coaches that or tell my teammates that I want to be the starting quarterback. I got to show them my actions. Mm-hmm. So I'm making sure like I'm there every 707, every workout, every meeting, making making sure I'm on time. Because that, that's the biggest thing. If you come in as a freshman, you, you can have all the confidence you want, and at all the seniors, they already got the mindset, like, you you little, we going to belittle you, all that. But, like, I'm coming in with a supreme confidence that I'm coming in to take the starting position. Mm-hmm. So I'm making sure that um, I, I put in the work to see myself do that and give myself the opportunity to be the starting quarterback. So making sure I prepare my mind and body, that's probably the biggest part. I want to gain um, probably a couple more pounds because, like, college – College defense alignment is yeah. yeah, it's different in high school. So I'm making yeah. sure like I'm preparing my my body for them hits, all that. Um, the mental part of the game, playing quarterback, that's that comes easy to me. But making sure I'm 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 fit to like do what I got to do on the football field. Danny, this question for you. Yes, sir. What advice did you give those guys, man, to ready to play the next level of football? I, I I you know if I had to give them advice, I just told them like the competition is gonna be different. Okay. You're not gonna be the best player on the field when you go as a freshman. Mm-hmm. Like when I went to Marshall, I just thought I was the the best thing smoking. But I met a guy up there named Randy Moss, you know, um, was a whole different uh, animal. Mm. And um, and so when I went up there, I was just, my mindset was, you know, I'm just gonna be me. Right. And just be yourself. Don't be nobody else that, like somebody said, you might, just be yourself. Just be the person, just be Will Noel, just be Miles Derricott. Mm-hmm. And when I went up there, I had to just be Daniel Derricott mm-hmm. because you got people from Florida, uh, Tennessee, Miami, you got New Orleans. So they come up there telling you what they did in high school. Right. And you looking at it like, okay. And then when you get on the, when you get on the field, you thinking like, you can play, you can play with them. Mm-hmm. And so I just had like, like, like I ain't. You know, everybody see this pocket, they know me. I ain't got a lack of confidence. At 47, mm-hmm. I still think I can, I'm can. i the best basketball player in the family. Mm-hmm. I still think I'm the fastest <laughs> one in the family, you know. Um, so my, so you just got to have confidence. Mm-hmm. And I was saying you're a confidence builder. And just hit, when all the freshmen get there, they gonna hit, y'all going to hit a freshman wall. Okay. You're going to hit a freshman wall when you go to college because you're not used, like, you're used to games every Friday night. And you're not in meetings. You're not lifting. So when you get up early in the morning, go to the, the weightlifting and, on, and you got a game Friday, then your mental breakdown on film, then practice, and then you got to go back and do it Tuesday. Then you got class. Then you got to get up and go to class. You got to walk, you know, and then you're thinking about the girls in college. Right, you know what I mean? Right, so that right. part is also going to be like, okay, the experience. Then your mom is not going to wake you up in the morning with the alarm clock. You got to wake your own self up. You got to have a roommate. So all those things is played it's going to be part of your character, how to build yourself. So you just got to be strong enough and be able. And, like, you understand, like, Lee, a lot of kids from Virginia go to college, but they don't finish. There you go. That you know? part. And just the mental breakdowns, like the mental, like, hey, man, like, um, 
um, it's, it's and it's a, just different. When I was there, man, like, you know, I wanted to come home. I miss my family. Right. But that's part of the sacrifice that you have to do, you know, as a player. And now I, I coach there. You know, I miss my babies. Don't get me wrong. They're here right now, London and Bella. They to love you um, in Dakari. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just um, you have a mental breakdown. Like, you know, uh, you know. I need somebody, or I just need it. I want my mom, or I want my daughters. You know, just you know, in their case, um, and so they go. They they just, they 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 just gonna have to be prepared. Okay. You know what I'm saying for the mental breakdown, and they are gonna have their bad days up there. Mm -hmm. Things not gonna go right. The coach is gonna cuss their ass out. You know, and it's not like high school. Right. You know, they could tell you, man, what the hell are you doing? You know, like you know, if you have a busted coverage, that's on you because you're gonna have to study. You know, so you got to know a whole new playbook and to prepare and get ready for college. Uh, and you know, I'm I'm gonna throw something else. I'm gonna throw a little curveball for Will. Can you tell him what he gonna be prepared for when that West Virginia code? Oh, oh. it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a whole different. <laughs> All type of practice. Be layered up. <laughs> you'll be he said gonna be layered up. But uh, up there in West Virginia, he's uh, West Virginia stays on top of a mountain. Okay. And you know when you're on top of a mountain. You feel everything. You feel everything. Everything. You know, man, the, the, the air. But, um, you know, in the wintertime, man, like that's, it's, when I play the monster, getting up early in the morning, that wind chill factor is a different, because that wind is a different monster. Yeah. Um, but you, like you said, you got to be layered up. You got to have your um, your clothes and everything. Well, I played up there, and, um, and, and, um, and you know, they got heaters there, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a challenge, you know what okay. I'm saying, for him. But if he can adapt to that, Mm -hmm. And we don't let that bother them. He's gonna be a great player for West Virginia State. Well, that's good. I got one more. I got another question for you to, okay. uh, uh, concerning Miles. Miles elected to stay close to home. Yes, sir. And I know you touched on it a little bit before, but what advice would you would give him? Because as I said, with well, Will, Will, you know, gonna be away, so he had no choice but to make it happen. Yes, sir. There's a lot more distractions as you know the closer you are to home, because you can easily, if I want to go home, I can just drive yep. down to Verona. Which is you know twenty thirty minutes or twenty minutes away. What advice would you give Miles? He just gotta stay focused um, and just believe in in, in what he believe in. Mm -hmm. You can't go home to mom even though like you right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And I know um, Vivian is gonna come up there if Miles call. You know she's gonna be right up there. You know what <laughs> I mean? So uh -huh. he gotta he gotta be humble and gotta be strong. He he got to become both of them gotta become a man mm -hmm. and they gotta know like okay. Um, what do I need? Do I do I do I need or do I want? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so that's a difference. Mm -hmm. So what I would tell him is, man, just to stay humble and just be equipped and just man, just and just stay focused mm -hmm. and just know like you have uh, a prize. You know what I'm saying that you got to get. And for me, when I went to Marshall, I was five and a half hours away from home. Yeah, I couldn't just go home when right. I want to. So, um, but what I would tell both these young men that. Use the system in college. Okay. Use your education. Use what they give you. So free education, use it. Mm -hmm. Take it what's <clears> worth. <throat> get your education. And that's the big part I want to tell both of you young men. They got to get their education. I left Marshall in school early to, you know what I'm saying, to, to go to the draft and everything, in which that didn't work out. And I played. I, I had a great pro career. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I did. But, if, but I had to go, go back the December to get my degree. Okay. And so... Um, and so just thank God for um, the people in my life that, that helped me, motivate me to go, to go back to school. Mm -hmm. The NFL is not for long. The CFL is, 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 is not for long. Mm -hmm. But your diploma, that paper you get for your degree, it it's forever. For a long time. It's forever. So that's why, you know, I want these young men um, to be humble. And football has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the NIL deals. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was playing at Marshall, I, I, I've been a millionaire right now. <laughs> hey, it's but a game changer, it's, it's, man. It's a game changer. And what I would tell these young men is stay focused on the prize. It's going to be a lot of distractions. Um, plus, when you, Miles, when you're close at home, it's going to be a lot of distractions for you. You have a good game, and then you're going to want to go home and celebrate. Right. Keep your ass at Virginia. Hey, you, yeah, you know you what I mean? Say, hey, so, like um, and, just, and just be humble. Um, and you know, Will, Will might get a little homesick too, but you know, um, your mom and, and, and pops is not gonna drive up there and just come get you for the weekend and <laughs> bring you back. <laughs> you right. know, so, um, so that's that's the plus and the negative. You know okay. what I mean? But the uh, the, the 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 negative is uh, you just being home. People can get 
to you. Mm -hmm. But positive is, man, you just got to stay focused, man, and just do what you, you know, so you have to do. Will, got a question for you, man. Um, you mentioned uh, that Perry Jones was your head coach over there. Yes. Uh, what advice or what did you take from him from his experience being a player at UVA and then he played at the great Oscar Smith down in 757? How did that help you out? Well, he was um, since he uh, played college football, like he experienced like the same thing I'm experiencing. He experienced that recruiting process. He experienced uh, what he had to do to get recruited. So like he gave me all his advice, and like every day I would just stay with him. He would tell me some, I would use it, use the advice, and it would work for me. So he was just a great mentor for me. That's good. Miles, you know I'm about to come to you, man. You know, <laughs> I've had your coach on several times. Shout out to Coach Marcus. Shout out to Coach Perry as well. Um, what did Marcus Jones, I mean, I said Marcus Jones, Marcus Lewis, and some of the other coaching staff members, you know, uh, shout out to them. How did they help you prepare, man? Or what was that experience like? Like, so at Verona, like, football is just – it's it's more than football at Verona. Mm -hmm. That that's like that's the biggest message that they they preach to us as um as their athletes. Um, they they come to us as as father figures, as coaches, mm -hmm. and we respect them as as both as grown men. Mm -hmm. And they basically just taught us a lot of life skills just on and off the football field because, like um like my uncle said like. NFL stands for not not for long. Mm -hmm. So and that's not everybody's not gonna make it to the NFL and you got to come to a realization that you can always have a goal in your mind that you want to be there mm -hmm. but like everybody's not going to be there and that's what they taught that's what they um preached to us mm -hmm. so like the biggest message that they would give us is just make sure that like you got your head on straight you know what you want to do in this life mm -hmm. you 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 always got to put in the work nothing's going to be handed to you mm -hmm. you can't expect handouts or anything like that because it, it it's not it's not easy mm -hmm. like like life is hard and you just got to keep going like you're gonna have bad days you're gonna have good days and, and on the football aspect they me they taught me like they gave they gave me confidence like because mm -hmm. when i when i came to verona like i came from patrick henry i came to um verona like i wasn't even gonna play football like oh, I, I remember the first time coach marcus on here, he said it i wasn't even gonna play football and wow. so i um i got out there the team just embraced me and I started to fall in love with football, and I realized skills that I never had. Mm -hmm. And, like, every game, I just gained more and more confidence because how much the coaches and my teammates believed in me. Okay. And that really made me fall in love with football, fall in love with Verona, fall in love with my coaches, teammates. Like, all of them are my brothers. I could call them, call any of them today, like yeah, right now. Yeah, we had a couple of players on here. Man. Yeah. Yep. And just, like, it was, it was, it was a great experience. They just – they 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 helped me grow up to um, be a good young man. Did 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 Danny give you a hard time, man, when you left Patrick Henry to go to Verona? Nah, that's the thing. Nobody on, nobody on my they wanted me to go and chase my dreams for real. Okay. Cause like that's good. Like shout out to that's good. Like shout out to Patrick Henry. Like I had great two years there and stuff like that. But like Verona like gave me the opportunity that like to sit in this chair where I'm at today. They gave me that opportunity and. My family knew that. My uncles knew that. My parents knew that. It was a lot of sacrifices that that came into that. Mm -hmm. um, shout out Big Nod and Miss Nia because welcomed yeah, me into their home. Oh yeah, shout like, out to them, man. Yeah. Cause they yeah. they welcomed me in my home. Welcomed me into their home. Um, I got I gained three three little brothers: KJ, Caleb, Kayvon. Man, that's and big. Yeah, they they like they I like I'm forever forever in their debt. Like they, man, they changed my life for sure. Mm. Well, what you was going to say, man? Oh, no, like, um, I didn't, um, you know, wow. his decision was, you know, based on him. Mm -hmm. And um, when I talked to him and when I found out he was going to Verona, I was like, man, just do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, don't go on what the legacy that what, what we had at Patrick Henry. Mm -hmm. Because we all built different. Right. You know, when I was there, man, it was, it was just different. Uh, my mom, didn't, I didn't have the access to go to a different school. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, we, you yeah, know, we you know, we know, you know, back then, back it, was then it was different. Like, yeah. You know, they won't even know such thing. No, nah, it won't even know such thing transferring. So now the everything is different. And so, you know, I just applaud him, you know, for um for making his decision um and everything. So is is he just did it on his own and, and I wasn't gonna say, man, hey man, you was wrong for not doing that. Nah man, you know, that's that's the decision that he wanted. 
and he had to live with that, you know. Mm-hmm. And it brought him a couple state championships, that which he bragged that he got more than I did in high school. Yeah, let's go ahead and say he got three. Let's just go ahead and say yeah, so, he got so, three. So we talk I should have brought my rings. So, I so, so, are we talking about rings? Because I, I, I think I got talking ten about of them. High school state championships. Oh, okay. Because, because I got ten of them. You know what I mean? So we talk about rings. So you know, we not talking, but. You know, he just talking about high school right Yeah, you know, yeah, he was just messing yeah, with him, man. Yeah, but, yeah, love, I know. but love, but, but you know what, Miles? I'm, I'm going to say this, though, because I got to defend my guy, man. You know, before I get into because I'm going to go to this camp with the Patrick Henry. I'm going to talk to you, Patrick Henry, about what I'm about to say. But this dude right here, hey, what you did was remarkable. This dude a damn legend, man. Yeah. <laughs> this dude, right, we still talk about this dude 30 years later, man. Mm. And I'm just talking about some of the things that some of the NFL guys he played with. And I can tell you, your, t- your high school team. Now, I'm going to tell you, and I hope you don't do this. And I don't want you to co-sign with him. So I want y'all to be honest because I know y'all ain't see him. This dude high school team, probably, probably top five. Well, ain't no problem. It's top five all time in the state. Yeah, they. De- mm. I, I now, heard stories. I heard stories. now. I heard stories. Now, some of these these new state champions, these kids in this this day and time, because I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you why it's different and the reason why I got to get this man credit. Back then, it was grouped in all, so it won't know division one, two, or three. So they had to play the whole state. Y'all got broke down into classification, so the road is a little bit easier to to get there because you based off population. They didn't have to go through that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if it was based on population, they probably would have won four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let's just yeah. clear that up. So you know what I'm saying? That, we was in Division 5. Yeah, y'all was you in Division I mean? 5. So yeah. y'all was like, the, the, you know, the second highest, you yep. know. And, you know, they, they beat some greats, you know. So I just got to get this thing through. But before I, before I lose my train of thought, Patrick Henry... <laughs> I'm coming straight looking at y'all for this one. Let me, let me get myself together, man, because I, I cannot believe this. The fact that you don't have this man in the Hall of Fame at Patrick Henry is a travesty. This is me talking. Now, I know don't none of y'all know, know me, but I'm telling you, it is wrong. Get this man in your Hall of Fame. Get him a statue. Do something. Put that statue out there by the football fields so when you walk in there, he need that. This ain't him talking. This is me talking. I don't know why y'all don't have him in the Hall of Fame. And when I found that out, that's a huge problem. Ashland, get it together. I know that ain't the whole Ashland, but whoever the powers that be, y'all can break a rule. Put the man in there. Because the last I checked, the only championship y'all got in football is the one that he got you. And I don't see no state championships coming to Patrick Henry anytime soon because he ain't walking through that door. I said it. So if you ain't got to have a problem, so if you got a problem with me, you ain't got to watch the show. But I just told you how I feel. Get this man in there because it's a tra- it's a travesty that you don't. It's crazy. Now, back to the regular schedule program. I oh, okay. My yeah. chest, man. I, I, thank you for that. I, I had to you speak know. to that. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, no, uh, like, you know, <laughs> when, uh, when, and, 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 and I'm, you know, I'm going to talk about it because, you know, uh, when I first heard it, uh, was, I, was I a little shocked, you know, like, yeah, you know, because, you know, that competitive nature, you know what I'm saying, me, and what I did for the, um, for, for Patrick Henry. They ain't one you know? sense. Um, you know, and, um, you know, I guess, you know, um, I'm in the, the, the Marsh Hall of Fame and I'm about to go into the MAC um, Football Hall of Fame. It's Congrats to you, bro. MAC Conference player ever to do at Marsh History. So, um, you know, those was my awards. So, but I'm not, you know, upset. Um, you know, I'm just, I am. You know, um, and so, <laughs> but I mean, you know, I did what I did, uh, you know, those accomplishments, it still is going to, you know, be up there. They can't take that away from me. So, I mean, so. I, I, I must, you, you being humble, I, I'm going to go back to that. You got you, you mentioned your daughters here, right? Yes, yeah. You got, you got your nephew here, uh-huh. right? You got Will here. Yes, sir. My thing is this. Now, I ain't been into the new Patrick Henry gym probably since I used to work at Kings and Million. That was probably 92, 93 mm-hmm. when they built the new school. And we used to play, we used to have the little Kings of Million basketball yeah. tournaments out there, mm-hmm. you know. And I used to hang out with Amy and, and uh, Amy Gerald and yeah, her sister, Susan. Uh, Susan. Susan. Yeah, yeah. And, and shout out to them. If y'all yeah. watch this, shout out to my girl Amy and Susan. They used to always look out for us. Yeah. But anyway, when you walk into the gym, now I don't know if y'all had the football championship pitch up there. Mm-hmm. 
when you walk into the gym, just like he gonna have, he gonna have your, your name will be up there. You should be able to walk into the gym with your family and say, hey, I did that. Oh, that's me right there. Your family should be able to see that. Yeah. <laughs> what you go down, and I hate to do it, I always do it. You go, I was just now seven five seven. I was at Boo Wham's thing, and I was at Phoebus. Yeah. When you walk in Phoebus gym, they got everybody up there. Yes, sir. So why in the hell can't y'all put this man up there? If you don't want to do the statue, fine. Get him in there. It is crazy. Yeah. Y'all ain't, last I checked, y'all ain't planning on winning no, okay, let me ask you a question. When y'all going to win another state championship? I sit here and wait. Because I don't see one in y'all future. Unless y'all going to goddamn bring that down to 14 back in there and no guys in their 40s and their 50s now, I don't see it happening. Get it done. It's crazy. Yeah. Got me up, man. I'm amped up, man. I, yeah. I just cannot believe that. Yeah. How you not do that? But you know, like you know, for for you know for for Miles and Will, I just you know just want them to just to be humble, and that's why that's you know um, I just want them to understand like you know all your success is it can be all balled up in one you know that's I mean? true. So and somebody have to just acknowledge you. So I want them to see. Um, and I am being humble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I, are because, because I, I, I yeah, got you, 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 me, but you, yeah, but you, you go ahead. I, I don't care about nah, that it's, because uh, we play this game as kids. Yeah. They, they, they say, okay, this man had to go out there, and I'm pretty sure y'all talk about it. Like I said, I'm gonna get to you, Will, but I'm saying he had to carry the name, regardless of the fact. If he if he stinks it up and don't do nothing, the family cookouts ain't the same. Yeah, we gonna talk about him like, come on, man, you know? <laughs> you like, know what I'm so, saying, right? So, so. So so we are, you know, like so so we big on that. Like if he exactly. don't exactly, like they be on you in a cookout. Yeah, yeah. Now, they don't be on me. They already know what it right, is. Right. See, he he, he I hey. got a resume. I can, hey. I can stick exactly. And hey, them free throws that he hit doing there, yeah, he helped win that basketball championship but, too. But let him admit some though. You know, he would got a call. He would got a phone call. Hey, man, what the fuck so, are you doing, man? So, so you know? and at the time, I did not know. I said, Derek, God, Derek, God. I didn't put the two. But now I know. I know now. Now I know so, why you hit him. So one day, right? <laughs> I know now you so, know why you hit him. And I ain't, I'm going to tell you, Kanad. Kanad called me and said, man, your nephew acting soft. <laughs> so, uh -oh. I, so, yeah. <laughs> shout I said, out to Kanad. Yeah, shout out to you, Coach Kanad. He said, man, yeah, he just ain't, you know. And I called and said, man, what the hell you acting soft for, man? Play your game. Right. And I, in, in every game, I try to send him a wheel, a text, say, man, hey, man, y'all the Best players on the field, right? Yeah. You know what I mean. And so right. that's what that's I'm. Fact. That's why I'm trying to tell them, like, regardless of what anybody else say, mm -hmm. hey man, I'm telling you, like, um, that you're the best player on the field. Mm -hmm. And so when I see something in, in both of them, mm -hmm. because both these young men are, are talented, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted Miles to go to West Virginia State, you know, some long mm -hmm. will, right? Um, but um, shout out to Coach um, Coach Pennington. Um, but but yeah, they and I, I tell them, man, you know, almost every game. And like, hey man, you're the best player in the field, man. Go do what you do, man. You know what I mean? And just give them the confidence from just from me. Mm -hmm. Like because when I was in school, I didn't have nobody to send me a text and right. say, hey man, yeah, we you're the best player. We ain't have no. We ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't, we had we had people. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I ain't cool. I couldn't. I ain't, I ain't have no people. The cold that, then you had to, that, you had to turn that, the people upside yeah, down. I ain't and yeah. matches. We couldn't do that. Yeah. And so and I just try to just give them encouragement. Hey man, you're the best player on the field, man. Don't don't let anybody tell you that you're not. Right. And so hopefully, like that that text, you know. Uh, a text or a call or something that can help someone out it means and, a lot. It, you know, what I'm saying? it means a lot. It yeah, does you know what I mean? So, and I, I just try to just just to be that you know what I'm saying for him now and just be an inspiration. Like, hey man, hey man, what you doing now and how you doing? Mm -hmm. Because man, like, and parents, and 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 I might shift the subject a bit, but okay, no problem. The the, the parents are the big avenues for these kids now because now it's all about what the parents. You know, I see it in Little League all the time. Mm -hmm. These parents want these kids to be something that they are not. Like, you got to let the kids just go and just be who they are. Right. You know what I mean, man? Like, a nine-year-old ain't can't wake up in the morning and play this, play this, play this, man. Their, their body ain't built like that to right. play a year-round football. Mm -hmm. And maybe some kids are, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But, I, you know, for me, to play year-round football, are you getting better? Are you training your kid? Mm -hmm. Like, what's this... If you play, and I tell people this all the time when they ask me about um, all year football, mm -hmm. I was like, is they getting better right. or is they still playing the same? Right. And then are you helping the kids that not where they need to be? Mm -hmm. They're playing, you know, are they getting better? Mm -hmm. So those emphasizing, man, like I would tell them about like, man, you play football season, man, go to get a trainer mm -hmm. to help your kids on your weakness. Mm -hmm. Work on your weaknesses. I mean, mm -hmm. stop trying to be 
the uh, work on your strength. Mm -hmm. Because, I man, like, I right, Miles go out there, shoot 100 free throws, and make 90 out of 100. He's doing well. But right. can he dribble the left hand? Right. Can he pull up? Or, you know what I mean? Or can you... Or, can you do the things that you need to do to be a better player? Mm -hmm. And so that's that's how I feel about it. But I ain't mean it, you know what I'm saying? No, that. no, you good, you good. No, and and I, and I and I wanted to direct this to Will because for me, and this is just my mindset. When you got friends and family that can encourage you, that played at the level he played at and was big time, big time extraordinaire. And, and so was Miles. Does that put, motivate you? And you said it yourself because, like I said, nobody was coming to Glen Island. It does so motivate me. So you like, okay, you know what? I got Miles. So, I, you know, I could talk to him and, you know what I'm saying, I could talk to Danny. You know what I'm saying? Give your input on that because most people, like yourself, don't get a chance to come up here, man. So yeah, give, just give, seeing, give, like, seeing everyone get an opportunity motivates me. Seeing that there's a chance for everybody motivates me, keeps me going. Mm -hmm. Like, I would see that, uh, or Miles or Miles and um, Verona, like, schools would go to there. Like, schools would come to visit Verona all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that would motivate me to try to, like, hit up some schools and then, like schools that hit me back, and then being with Danny, always talking about coaches and what I should do to uh, like get my recruiter recruitment process better, he would help me out. Let me ask you a crazy question. You don't have to answer. You can just say no comment. But you know I'm gonna put you on the spot. Did ever and did any time that you ever think say you know what should I transfer to Verona? <laughs> <laughs> Not Verona, but, <laughs> like, I was and if thinking about, school, like, tell I was, us. I don't know. I was thinking about thinking of the, the uh, private school route, like Trinity, but mm -hmm. I was talking to my dad about it, but I was like, nah, I'm not going, I'm not going to run. Yeah, you saved your daddy a lot of money, yeah. too. <laughs> okay. But he, nah, he mentioned it to me, though. Or it won't Trinity, it was St. Chris, but I was like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, they had a good football team, too. Had yeah. Dre over there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dre, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you saved your parents a lot of money. Yeah, yeah you, you, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I did that, but save some money. Yeah, yeah. yeah he'll thank you for that. That way, they, that money can go towards driving up the road to come see you play. You know what I'm saying, Miles? You know, I, I, I'm gonna come to you, man. Let me let me first go to that that football championship. All right. That run, I, I watched y'all in the playoffs, man. And um, I, and I'm I'm specifically gonna go to that seven five seven game against Kings Fort, mm. man. When you was throwing those passes to my man, um, and, and I, I call him a dog too. Um, what's guy? I lost the train of thought. What is his name? Fish Grease. Yes, Ant yes, Fisher. and Fisher. <laughs> man, did y'all think y'all was gonna beat Kings Fork? Kings Fork was pretty good. Yeah, they was like, like the week of Kings Fork, they had flyers in the locker room. I can't ex remember ex like exactly what it said, mm -hmm. but it was like, oh, they called us. Um, I think it was a home game or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Like they they put it all on um, our coaches put it all on our lockers. So that like that was like oh nah you're not ready to come in our house like and tell us like this y'all home game. So I like they thought that yeah yeah they I don't know it was it was a great game like like that game was was a battle every game every every down every drive counted. Yeah you did to our success you did. and um like. In the last couple of minutes, like, I was just doing stuff I didn't even know I could do. Like, it yeah. was just one of those mo surreal moments where you just like, I'm just out there doing stuff. I'm out there you playing You're out there football. playing Madden and stuff yeah. like that. Because some of those key throws and those key runs that you made in that game, man, y'all controlled the game. Y'all maintained that lead. Because I, I be arguing in the group with those guys, and they talk about they had the lead. I said, y'all didn't have the lead in that game. At all. No, y'all scored, they scored. Y'all scored, yeah. they scored. It was they either scored. we were ahead or right. we Y'all was always ahead. ahead. And like I said, when, when it was third and whatever, and whatever y'all made the plays that y'all need to, to, to make, and like I said, I watched the, the state championship game on um, on live or whatever. Somebody had a live or whatever, so I didn't really get to go to that game, man. But what, how did it feel to win that state championship, the first in the school history? Because I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to go ahead and say it again. I'm going to have to remind you because he know. Verona been there so many times. The 27-0, the 27-7 up on C.D. Hilton. I don't – I ain't got to say that no more because y'all got it done. 
Yeah. They got it done. They ain't got nothing to do with you. But there were so many times, the Michael Robinsons, the, uh, mm-hmm. I can go back to, to 1990 with uh, my boy, his son played at Hollis Springs. I can't think his name was running back. Uh, he'll come to me. But Casey Hinton, all those guys, and, you know, and I'm probably forgetting some other names that were there. It was some great teams that, that, that got there always, even the times where they had to get to the championship. I mean, the, the, the end of the season where Highland Springs, 9-0, Ferrano, 9-0. Whoever lose that game, don't make the playoffs. Yep. Yeah. That stuff. See, that, that was see, back then. Right. That see, back in the day. That was, was back in the day. It was tough. See, back then, you lose that one game, your season over with. See, that's why I said it was back then, so it was a lot different. So how does it feel to, to get to school that first championship, man? I mean, it feels good. Like, going back to where you said, like, it was a lot of great Verona teams that didn't make it. That was, that was the main message that they was telling us, like, let's be the first ones to do it. Let's mm-hmm. make history. Like, who doesn't want to make history? Yeah. So, like, going into that game, we was pumped. Our main main goal was um to make history. Mm-hmm. And, like, that whole year, we, we fought through a lot of adversity. Every game was won by, like, a touchdown. Yeah, it was Like, in close. the fourth quarter, a mm-hmm. couple minutes. And, like, that just built us together. And that team, like, the, like the seniors per se was like they all play um little league with each other. Mm-hmm. So like they they all already knew knew to each other and us transfers that came in we just like because uh, most of the transfers that came in that um really impacted was like the juniors like me, uh, Kavion Keys, Marquise mm-hmm. Vincent, Kenny um Faison. and um they like we just came in and followed their lead like they like it was a um senior heavy team and like they they had one goal in mind to make history. Mm-hmm. And we just followed that, and we was like, we like you could not separate anybody on that football team. We was a brotherhood, even though we had like thirty players, mm-hmm. it felt like eighty. Like everybody had each yeah. other's back, and we just we just knew what we had to do, and we got it done. We won the first state championship, so that was good for the East End, man. Yeah, you know that was sure. good because there's so many great things. It, it was time for for Ronald to win the state championship. Yeah, it, it was time because they yeah. they had some. They time. couldn't win it in the nineties when we was. Oh my God! Yeah, no, that's they, right. They, yeah, look, yeah, you heard what he right. said. He yeah, said that I ain't going right. that far. I said it. I, look, I ain't oh, going yeah. that far. Yeah. But I, I, I get it started. But I'm mad at those those C D Hilton team when they had to play against my man, that linebacker from um from um C D Hilton, um. Amara Brooks. Yeah. Um, but just shout out to Red Thompson. Hollow Springs couldn't do it. Neither women's back then in the 90s. A, a, we beat y'all too. Yeah, that's red, right. Hey, right. Red. I ain't say that, Red. Yeah, I said a, it. I ain't say that, Red. I'll see you soon, yeah. Red. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, that's but no, right. man. But look, you know, he, he could talk it. He he did it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But it, uh, it, it was it was good. back then. It was that's when it was, man. It was good competition, man. Like right. When Hollow Springs came up there with us. Like, they had us on the ropes for a little bit, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, you know, uh, and again, we just were just so talented, man. Like, uh, if 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 we won the Holland Springs way, Holland Springs would have won it. We okay. Were, you know, that year you know we got won. They, right. They won it. But, you know, we was there, Red, you know what I mean? Just, you know, like, so, and if, in um, the second half, we was, the score went up with 6 nothing. Oh, wow. You so know? I know that. 6 nothing, man. And um, they, had, they, they, they had stacked the box, but, you know, um, and then that 300-pound line just, just kept wearing on them. Then I broke loose a couple of times, man. And um, yeah, that you, was all you, she wrote. Yeah, you know, you know how to so, do that real good. Yeah. I tell you that. So, um, so I see where you get it from. So, um, <laughs> so, but yeah, man. But back then, and I tell these young men you now today, I don't care if you go to college. Mm-hmm. You can just do anything. Anything that you do, man, you try to be the best of it. And, right. and you're just trying to do and you know everybody know me like I you know I talk a lot of trash and everybody like man Derek is being so humble on your show mm-hmm. you know because I got my daughter so that's why I'm being humble and I ain't, I ain't cussing and just doing everything right mm-hmm. but I try to tell these young men man just how to be good men mm-hmm. like man appreciate your parents mm-hmm. you know what I mean like I just know it's, it's different now right because my mom had to you know, had to work, you know, I mean, two jobs to, to provide for us. Mm-hmm. You know? Shout out to so, your mom. Yeah, shout out to my mom, Ali Marie Derek. I love you. Um, and I just tell Wills and Miles, man, it's like, appreciate your parents. You know what I mean, man? Like, because they go through a sacrifice too. Yeah. They do. Um, the parents go to sacrifices. So when you go through a sacrifice, I go through sacrifice being a marshal and not, not seeing my daughter. Your daughter's right. So um, you go through that sacrifice. So I just want them. You know, and just any kids watching, man, like, you know, what your parents do for you, just thank you. They don't have to do it, mm-hmm. you know. Um, you know, some parents are 
able to do and some parents are not, mm -hmm. you know. Um, when I was growing up, you know, my mom raising five kids, it's, it's, it was tough. So, you know, I'm just so thankful for having a mom and having um, the Kennys, um, um, Tina and, and, and John Kenny that, that, that helped raise me mm -hmm. with my parents also, man. That was been a big part of my culture and my development. And so um, I just want them to realize, man, they're like, man, hey, man, you know, appreciate your mom, appreciate your, you know, your father, regardless if they not in your life, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. for, but, you know, for, for, the, for the right reason. And this just go for everybody. I don't care if your parent, you might don't like your father, you might don't like your mom, mm -hmm. but you got to respect them. You know what I'm saying? That's because right. they had sacrificed something for you to get where you at, at, you know what I'm saying, at this point in your life. So that's, you know, that's my message for all the young people now because this young generation now, man, it's just, it just out of control, you know, yeah. man. And we talk about being a, a student athlete, man, you got to get your education. You know, a student come first. Mm -hmm. Then that's why it's, it calls a student athlete, athlete. because you got to be a student in the classroom for. You can't be an athlete without the grades. Trust me, I I know because I was the state player of the year and and I ain't have no grades. I had to go to Fulton Military Academy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. When when all the that big was, colleges yeah, came, that, that was that was the road though. That, that was that, the road. that was the road. And you was going to Fulton. You that's, was like, man, like you the man. Like you you like oh you made it. Oh yeah, you made it. Right, and, right. And, yeah. But, but waking up at four thirty in the morning, man, doing that military stuff, man, and it, it, it yeah, everybody ain't you. built for it. Yeah, yeah it, it it really humbles you. So just take this opportunity when y'all go to school. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and VMI won't. Everybody VMI won't it. Huh? Be going to VMI, that military one. <laughs> yeah, look, look. I went down there. I, I went down there to watch one of a uh, friend of mine, kid. Right before I went to watch Alden Parham. He shout out to Alden and and um, DeAndre Thomas. They was playing. He played at Sanford. Alden played at VMI. And that ride down there to VMI. And when I went on that campus, when that state was absolutely nothing. My son got out of the car and said, Dad, I know I couldn't go here. Yeah. I mean, it was just like. <laughs> it's like a prison. That's what I yeah, was that, thinking. That's what it felt like to me. It was like a, a military prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and not to disrespect the people who graduate sure. from there and stuff yeah. like that. Shout, Shout out to VMI. Shout out to the coaches for me. So I, I feel y'all on that. No yeah, VMI, VMI was on them too tough. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and a lot of people, right. <laughs> and they, and they, yeah. they, they be on there, part. but a lot Shout of kids could go there, but there. people don't want that military stuff. I mean, rich tradition, I'm pretty sure if you get in there and they'll set you straight and stuff yeah. like that, but it's just not for everybody. So I didn't have no choice, you know what I mean? So that was my choice to go to a junior college. So when I went down there, man, like, it was it was tough for me, mm -hmm. but it just made me so humble, and you know, and that's why I try to tell these these young men, man, like, you know, this your opportunity, man, go get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, man? Like, just go get it. Don't don't wait for nothing um, given to you. Mm -hmm. Just go get it. And just like playing football, man, the same thing. You you want to put all your hours and stuff to training. You got to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying with the you know with your books. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, and just shout out to Fort Union when I went. And I just want to just give a you know shout out like to Marshall University man for giving me an opportunity to come back and just be on the coaching staff man. It's, yeah, you're you know, giving back. Bro. It was big for me man. And so um, and I try to help and just try to explain to him man what college is going to be. Mm -hmm. That college life is going to be college life. And you go man, you go like, man, my parents ain't here. <laughs> you know like it's not you, 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 it's, it's 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 gonna be a way different. You have like, Will wake up, Miles wake up. No. The alarm clock don't wake up. That's yeah. your ass, Jack. You know what I mean? So you you got to be able to manage, be on time. And and when I would tell y'all, in college, you can't, don't be late. If you want to get on the field, you can't be late. You hey, know what I mean? look at the movie Drumline when they asked Devin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what he told the dude. <laughs> he said, why you ain't wake up? He said, well, I ain't his mama, sir. Yeah. <laughs> that was just for the drumline. I'm yeah. like... And Damn, so, is that serious? Yeah, is that serious, man? Like, so when you come to college, like you gonna have your, you gonna have your days, man. You gonna have your good days, and y'all gonna have y'all bad days. But when y'all bad days, y'all gotta say, man, tomorrow can be a good day. Mm -hmm. Don't get down and like, I, I, I done it. You know, I call home. I want to transfer. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because I wasn't in the, like my freshman year. I said I want to transfer, man. Like, but I didn't know God and Randy Moss every day was gonna get me. I'm getting burnt. But I'm making some plays too. But, Man, listen. but I'm down there on the ball. You can on, get burned by Randy Moss. Like, that, that, that was my so, point. I was gonna say so, that. You took the words right out of my so, mouth. So for me, <laughs> so so for me, I'm boy. thinking I, I'm not that good. But I didn't know how the good he was. Man. He played on yeah. the 
you know, played everybody else. Yeah, so. you you played up there. You had, we had Chad Pennington. He yep. was up there. I had, so my um, quarterbacks was Chad Pennington. We had Randy Moss. Right. Um, Chad Pennington was my freshman sophomore year. Then I had Byron Leftwich. That's right. You got my, Byron Leftwich. My right. Junior, my senior year. So That's I had right. The two top quarterbacks in the draft in the top ten. Then I had Nate Poole. I, you know, people don't. The younger don't don't remember Troy Brown, the New England Patriots. No, right, right, receiver. So right. he went to Marshall. So I worked out with him in the summertime. But Randy was a a difference maker. Nate Poole. Uh, people don't know about him. He was the one that caught the pass against Minnesota Vikings, not going to play up against Arizona. College. Okay, see, I so he was my roommate. Yeah, I didn't know that. So we had Doug Chapman, Rogers Beckett. And he from Bird. Yeah, he's from else. I know shout Doug. Out to Doug Chapman. Man. Shout, shout out to uh, Doug. Shout out to all those guys. Yeah, man. So, but it, but it was a humble experience. When you go to college, you're going to meet some guys that are maybe better than you, but mentally, you know, you I had to get mentally tough. Mm-hmm. And I think like when I left Patch Henry, I thought I was mentally tough. Mm-hmm. But I got down West Virginia, man, and that weather started hitting. And then, like, you know, you know my mom you know, is not answering the phone when I want to, man. Mm-hmm. And stuff is just not going right. That's when you become the, the man that you're supposed to be. Like, that's when you're like, okay, you got to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And they're going to, Miles and, and Will is going to come to a time when they got to figure it out on their own. Right. And, you know, and just, you know, and and not to, you know, not ain't nothing wrong with it, but, you know, I was mama's boy. Mm-hmm. You know, they mama's boy. Their moms love them. You know what I mean? Any okay. little thing they don't do, like their moms got their back. But sometimes your mom ain't gonna be there. Right. And when right. you we, we you can call her, but when it's when you go through a situation and then you gotta make a decision. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You just gotta make the right decision, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, on your own. So that's something that you're gonna have to understand. They gotta understand and figure out. They're gonna be the hardest part. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Figuring out the just the little simple stuff about college, where you need to be, what I need to be, man. Who can and and and, and the thing about going to college is you gonna have a lot of good people, mm-hmm. but you gonna have a lot of guys that gonna come up there, man, just for the college experience. Right. They ain't gonna want to do nothing. They don't want to do nothing. They they that. just like come on, man. How come? You know you gotta wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I have done it. Maybe we go out. I mean, go up to 3 o'clock in the morning. I got to be up at 6 o'clock. 6 practice. o'clock, right. You think and you man, can do it. And you think I can do it. Like, your body. But we young. We I did it for a couple of days. I had a good practice. Going into the, going into the season. My, my production went down. Like, my, you know, because I'm hanging out because I'm making plays. And then when you make plays, there's going to be a lot of people in college going to come at you. Right. You got to have a lot of women. You got to have a lot of friends. That's just, that just the nature beast of college. And see, this is the thing now. You got social media now. Oh, yes. So everybody sees everything. So if you have a bad people. game and they yeah. have a bad game, people, you got these sites, these these team sites, these these group sites. Yeah. For 21, he sucked. And, yeah. You know, and, and number five, he did this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I'm not sure. I mean, all the schools got it, mostly the PWIs. They definitely have it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? HBCUs, they probably have it, but not so much unless they somebody who talks, but yeah. it happens. But it's, it's, it's it, and, and that's what they're going to have to realize. Like, if you get burned, it's going to be on social media, man, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. the world got burned or miles through three interceptions. Yep. That's going to be the first thing because y'all are like celebrities when you go to school. Right. It is. And in nature of the beast, like, I didn't have a lot of social media. We had, we was on ESPN and then we went to the um, the, the bowl games, whatever. Yeah, so, y'all had a bowl that was set for y'all. Yeah. Y'all got there. So, um, so if I got burnt, you know what I mean, on our television, which I did on ESPN, man, and man, like, my... My brother's like, man, like, what the hell going on? You on ESPN, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was big and, for us. Yeah, it, it, it was big. And so, but now, um, you have social media that um, that that is so big, Instagram, and that people. You gotta be careful because when you when you're in college and you're celebrities, you have people that can just take pictures. Right. Just wanted to, hey man, look at him, coach. Right. Or you know what he's doing out this time of night. So right. you just gotta be careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Surroundings. Yep. You you know. It, and I, I got to ask you a question before I, we go back. And, and that was a good segment because you're right. People can take pictures, and just because they don't like you, you those three, three interceptions, you can get burnt two yeah. plays. And you guys, about, you might be walking to the store at night, and they take a picture of you thinking, could be talking about it. Somebody have a beer in their hand. They think that you might be getting beer. That, I mean, that's the, the uh, era, yeah. time y'all living in now. Yeah. So it was kind of crazy. But I wanted, I'm going to kind of switch subjects, and I, I always wanted to ask you this question. I asked a coach that came on here 
uh, from Monacan. He was on the 1994 Meadowbrook State Championship game, championship team. Now, these 94 guys, since you're a 94 guy, I mean, you came up with 95. 94. 94. 94. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. And I had to ask Coach Bowes here, and we're going to put that clip on there too. 1994 was the year Allen Iverson was in jail. Yeah. And we know for that BS misdemeanor, whatever, you mm -hmm. know, Hampton finally got it right, whatever mm -hmm. we want to call it, if they didn't, whatever. Young man, y'all listen up to this. 1994 was the year in basketball that Tony Rutland was the all-state basketball player. We probably would have been Chuck yeah. on the basketball mm -hmm. side. You were state player of the year 94 football. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. And I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to ask you anyway. If Allen Iverson was still in high school that year and did not go to jail as a high school senior, do you think you would have been state player of the year? And if y'all had played Bethel, who would have won? Hell yeah, I've been state player. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why I knew he was going to no, say it ain't, it, no, it, 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 it was quick with it. Yeah, that yeah, was it, no, that, that, it, it's, no, it's, it's, we, it's, people want to hear this. That's why, if I got him here, I got to ask the damn question. It's, it's a hell yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why. Why we would have beat him, mm -hmm. and because we was like that up front, mm -hmm. right? When I said we were like we had Damian Woody, Keep Short, Andre Curtis, Jay Wingfield, Tim Patterson, mm -hmm. Stephen Anthony, right? They all three hundred plus, and they couldn't move. Then you had and we, Aaron and, Kenny, the tight end. And then we had Aaron Kenny at tight end. We had Keep Short that went to Virginia Tech, and right. And then we had the Keema Lewis mm -hmm. and Ricky Wilkinson in the backfield. And then we had me back there, right? And I was gonna, I I wanted all the smoke. Uh, you know, and, and I did. And you know, Iverson, you know when one he came. All, he, he won, he won, won all the smoke. Hugo and I was up 16-9 in the fourth yeah, quarter, but, and I'm thinking we going to win the game. We got one, and he came back and was just like, no, this is my house, yeah. and he just took over Richmond, but, and they came back and won. But, so what makes y'all think y'all going to be the difference? Because we was going to pound that rock. Okay. We weren't going to punt the ball. Okay. Like, yeah, because we punt to him, you know what's yeah, going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Right. So for us, like, and we weren't going to let one man beat us. Right. We, nah, that, that won't. So we was, we was, we was, um, for me, we was the best team in the history oh, I of, agree. of com coming through the state of Virginia. I, I, I agree. I, but I, you know these 757 people, they differ. They we, think that Chuck, or Chuck was nah, top 10 because, quarterback in the nation, be, be, top point guard because, in the nation. Because when 757 came down here, Deep Creek, when they beat – uh, when they beat uh, uh, Ron and Carradine, Hampton, mm -hmm. Deep Creek beat Ron and Carradine, we beat Deep Creek, right? Um, right. And we beat them we conventionally. And right? that was Ron and Carradine first year, right? They were Ron and Carradine first, first year, year right? right? And right. And so in, in, the, in the fourth quarter, I had eight carries for a buck 16, so we won't pass in the rock. Oh, so, I know what y'all – so, you know I'm, I'm enticing you now. You nah, don't push nah, this nah, on there because nah, I'm doing nah. this for a reason. Nah. And, so, and so they came down there with 757 with a plan to, you know what I mean, stop the run game, mm -hmm. right? We didn't have, we didn't pass the ball. We passed the ball one time. I threw an interception. Mm -hmm. When we was up fourteen nothing, I threw an interception and rolled out. It was a bootleg. I should have just ran it, mm -hmm. but I threw it anyway. So they came down and scored. The second half, we didn't, we didn't have a fourth down conversion. Mm -hmm. You know, we said, man, we we got Jay Winfield six six three twenty five. Damian Woody, all pro. Yeah, ESPN, yeah. Damian Woody that y'all see as an analyst. That Damian Woody for y'all that don't know. Six five three twenty. Uh, Tim Patterson, 6'6", 345. But y'all had a huge line. Uh, Andre Curtis was 6'1 and a half, 250. Uh, 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 Steve Anthony was 6'1", 290. At tight ends was 6'6". Six, six, they would have punished the boys from down there, Keep Short man. was 6'3", two, uh, 245. That fullback was six foot, 225. We had a – and that running backs, like, we was like that, right? And so, I didn't get sacked all year. They built like mm -hmm. Bama. I ain't get sucked all year. And so when we came, I mean, you ask, you ask, you ask Ray this the moment when he come in here. When they played us, I thought it was 14 people on the field on Holly Springs, and they were stacking the box. Wow. You know what I mean? But they was, they was coming. But, uh, again, when if you, miss, if you miss one of us, mm -hmm. it's a touchdown. Right. So I had an 80-yard run. You know what I mean? Coming out of half, we was like, hey, man, they put 11. They want, They didn't even respect that passing game. We just had we had two receivers out there, man. They ain't even – they had nine in the box. So we went – what we did was we ran a 17 lead mm -hmm. in which the fullback lead to the seven hole, a running back lead, and I just followed. So there was my extra two blockers plus with the – the other blockers I had. Mm -hmm. And so when they when they caught that linebacker hit and that linebacker then covered that that, that B gap, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's when I took it for 80. You know what I mean? And that was the, and that was the um, game changer. Well, see, you heard that right. So basically what you're telling me is that because, you know, some 757 people, you know, they said something this week. Um, so basically, there's no asterisk besides y'all championship because hold, hold on, let me tell you what. Because there's supposed to be this asterisk besides Meadowbrook championship in '94 because Iverson was in jail. Because again, you know they yeah. won that. They had that run. They beat John Marshall on the way, which John Marshall should have won that year. Yeah. But Meadowbrook had, they had, a, they had a remarkable year. So, but before that, y'all were there. Y'all won it. So. For these 757 people who I know they're going to watch this and they're going to say it, what do you say? Ain't no asterisk by it. You would have been the player of the year, went opposite in yeah. the field, and you would have won a chip. That's what you're telling me? It, with, with no doubt. Okay. With no, I mean, I mean, hands down, because we should have won it my junior year. Right. But, but but we didn't, you know what I mean? And so as senior year, won't nobody going to beat us. No, nah, I, I mean, and I, mean, I agree. Won't nobody going to beat uh, us. But I just had to let these 757 you know, like, people know because they be kind of, you know. We could have. We could have just beat um, anyone, and then like on defense, man, like you know, we we had we had six shutouts, you know what I mean, in, mm-hmm. in, in those games. People ain't even people ain't get over like fifty yards on us, you know. We had me, corner Percy James, Ricky Wickerson, Kima Lewis, uh, Andre Curtis. We had Mark uh, Mark Combs, and then we had Damon inside. We had at, at the end was Dieter and Keep Short. We had two bookends, like, and then we had. Um, um, yeah, my boy on the team too. Did he come out of '94? Big Keith. Keith was a coach at um, Keith. Keith uh, Braxton. Keith Braxton. Yeah. yeah. So, so Keith Braxton came out in '92. Okay, '92. Okay. '92. So, so we okay. came up there in '93. We was all young and we should have won it, but it, uh, we had rubber cleats and Langley. You know, they beat us. So I'm not gonna sit up here and have no excuses because that's what the seven five seven is doing, making excuses. So one man is gonna make a difference. But that's but that's what they saying, game. you know. But that's what I mean, saying. even we though Allen Iverson is a, is, is a Hall of Fame in basketball, the one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, so I'm gonna give him that. that. Right. I'm gonna give him that. that. But well, goddamn it, we had Derek. You Cox. basically took nah. what he had because nah, nah. if he didn't go to jail, you would not got the award. Nah, nah, that's, was, that's what I'm hearing. No, nah, I was. I, I was fortunately, man. I, I played out of Iverson in, in AAU. And I tell this story to everybody. You know, we was, we was, Iverson came down and I scored the first two points. And uh, he ended up with like 40. Right, yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, he is Chuck. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, yeah. He so, is the, the so, you know, NBA Hall of Famer. Now, don't get me wrong now. I talked that smack on the basketball, but but football, it was a little different because, man, we dictated. You know what I'm saying? Everything on offense. Right. Um, and we we gonna haul the ball. And then we stop you two or three times, we're gonna score. I ain't won't well, nobody gonna stop us from scoring. Right. Because I ain't because man, if you, if if you put ten in the box and like you can ask red. So we play action, a thirty four dive, everybody commit, we throw a uh uh eighty eight pop pass to mm-hmm. the tight end, wide open. So he one on one and he was six six, you know, ran a four five. So man, it was hard to guard him. You know what I mean? So we just had a lot of avenues and and and. What about it being young? But, but like I was telling, <laughs> but like I was telling Miles and Will, if we'll play them in, in, in there, we'll beat Miles on probably fifty to nothing. And and and, and who else? Yeah. <laughs> and, and y'all, Miles, <laughs> Miles, Miles, <laughs> Will, Will, them, man, we would have beat them probably fifty to sixty to nothing. Miles, let, uh, let me let me be honest with y'all, and, and I'm, I'm and I and I love y'all, young folks, you do. But I'm, I'm and, I, and I don't want you to think I have no dog in the fight. But I'm gonna be honest with you, Miles, I, Miles. I love you, bro. I, 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 I've been watching you, man. You know, where I'm just, man, you're going to be honest with you. There was nobody. Y'all could put all y'all teams together in your four years at both of y'all schools. Y'all probably won't even be in their backups. That right, team. backups is crazy. Let, let, let me tell you something. This you, team you right here, that team in 1994 was crazy. Was crazy. Top five all time, man. You can rank them anywhere you want to go because to me, if you watch the Kirk and Bird show, I don't even should be shouting them out, but I like the guys anyway. But they had a top, whatever, whatever. And if you go back and when they had it, I, I mentioned y'all. Mm-hmm. Because they because they 757 biased. And oh. then they go look into the race. I said, I said, what about that 94 Patrick Henry team? But, How y'all forget about them? Well, we was in the USA Today. That's what I'm saying. We was in the top 10 USA Today in 1994. And um, and it was big. Um, I mean, for us as a as as a community, because man, we 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 play liberty football together, and we just and and, and we ain't transfer. Mm-hmm. And I got to tell somebody like we all you know when we did it like so. Yeah, athletes were different back yeah. then. See, see, that team was so much bigger, faster, and see back then, 
it, it was just different in the nineties, man. You hear Kanar probably always tell you that at practice, Miles. You know, the nineties was different. It was a different brand of, of sport back then, man. It was just different. And not not to try to knock y'all accomplishment or nothing Bro, like nah, that. Oh no, they they but they, you know they do some good stuff. You know, they do some good stuff, man. You know, shout out, you know, especially on that on that basketball I, court, I, man. I, but I, I think uh, you know, the the difference between me and their eras now, mm-hmm. they a little bit more athletic. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? They are. They 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 look more athletic. But mentally toughness. That 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 that's our era. Yeah, that yeah, that, that's, our that's our. And I know all the right. young people might see this man. Man, we we'll, we'll give no, y'all fifty. No, we'll give y'all sixty. Everything like, has been watered not down. Like, we'll, and, 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 and it's like, like and now you got all this. You can't do this. You can't do this. See, when we went through it, it was the weight. Like we, had, we we had or there was no other alternative. Yeah. So either you do it this way, or you don't play at all. See, now you guys got options. You guys got so many options and so many avenues. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine, man, if there was social media where we get off the phone and we get somebody recording our games? And yeah. See, we got VHR. Some of you VHS tape, VCR tape. You don't have VCRs anymore. Yeah. No so can you imagine you get off the game when, when y'all was the shit? Yeah. Like, like man, th- that was a different brand. That's what I'm saying. So with Avison, y'all see these uh, these highlights of Avison and stuff that every blue moon, we really don't see stuff about from y'all like some of your family got some stuff like that. Yeah. But it was different. That's why I was so happy when Jordan them did the, the, the last dance because these kids were in Jordans, but they never got to see Jordan. They seen and, Kobe and LeBron. And so, Jordan was different, and so, man. And so that's why I'm trying to tell these they, young they, people Jordan, right now, right? Jordan was a they killer, LeBron, man. So y'all LeBron? And I love LeBron. So I never we're, 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 we're you LeBron. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's why I was so glad they came out yeah. with that documentary. So, so, so you LeBron, you LeBron or Michael Will? Oh, I'm you gonna say, we already I'm getting a, into I'm that. I'm gonna say LeBron no, just because no. I've seen him. Right, right, and, and I gotta yeah, respect that. I can't, that. Right. I can't say Jordan. You can't say Jordan. Right, okay. but the only thing they know is Jordan is the shoes <laughs> it's the and, shoes. Him, and him about him. But, but, but Jordan, Jordan was different, man. Jordan was different. He was and, but and, LeBron got everything. Man. I mean, so 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 for me, so when I when I all when, y'all can talk about is ring. No, I ain't we talking about ring. We talking about like the 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 competitiveness with Michael Jordan. Right, LeBron. Is probably one of the the, the greatest players, all around one, players, one of, of all time. One of them. Yeah, but so if he all around, shouldn't he be yeah, the he, greatest player? Nah, like so it's like a different era. Like so, I'm trying to tell y'all, young pups, something. Like so, just because you're you got this and you do this, but in a game of itself, in the magnitude of the games, Jordan shy away from any damn thing. Mm-hmm. That right? man scored 38 so, points with the and, flu in a hostile environment. And, and, I don't see LeBron do. LeBron gonna sit out if he got to play the flu. Yeah, the flu. and then oh, and he's and, and I love LeBron. I, I mean, 38 points in a hostile environment with, so, with the flu. So 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 even though this in is, the finals game. So 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm ask these young I'm gonna ask these young guys a, that, that, a question. All right, dang, you know, dang, so what's now. what's your top five NBA players of all time? Top five NBA players? Yeah, of, of, of all time. Because you got they can only go about who they know. Yeah, they get who they know. I mean, of y'all yeah. era, because you can only go back who you know. Yeah. All right. In order, oh, wait, like, I mean, like, 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 Kobe in our era, can we say? Yeah, 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 Kobe. Yeah. I, no, I'm not putting Kobe first, though. <laughs> okay, okay. You put LeBron right. first. Yeah, I'm putting like in, that, okay. in our era, Bron, Kobe, KD, Curry, and one more, like Giannis. Okay. I might put like Bron, Kobe, um, probably Tim Duncan. I could say Tim Duncan. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. Um, gotta put Steph up there because he's the greatest shooter of all time. Yeah, you can, you can say that. <laughs> And then probably KD. Okay, well, ain't no argument. She can come on. Yeah, ain't no argument with that. She she can come up here with you. Yeah. Who's, your, who's your top five of your era? Oh, I would say probably. I love Shaq though. Like if we was doing greatest, like I'm definitely putting Shaq. Yeah, no, I'm you can do kind of the five because my five kind of you know kind of. I'm kind of. Yeah, I, I, I'm curious. Well, it would be MJ, of course. Mm-hmm. Magic was always my favorite okay. player. You, you know, put Magic over Bron. Yeah, for me. Yeah, for me. For for me, because man, I grew up on Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson was was, was everything. Magic Johnson played all five positions. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that LeBron probably could do better was say shoot, but they didn't have the three point line to really shoot back then. So for me, Magic Johnson did everything. So it would be, but if I had a top five of players that I liked, mm-hmm. would be, you know, MJ, of course, uh, Magic, Braun, Shaq, um, 
probably I would probably say more so Tim Duncan because Tim Duncan was fundamental. What about you know like what I'm saying? Larry Bird? So uh, I, I, mean, I, I like those like, players, like, like, but they not, 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 he, he's in my top ten. So uh -huh. um, for me, my top five would be Kareem, all them. I, 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 I probably Kareem. go with he in my top ten. Kareem, Kareem, yeah, my top ten. I would pay Michael. I would pay uh, Kareem. <clears throat> I would go with you got Hakeem uh, Lodge one. No, Moses I mean Malone, I would go I would go with Michael. Uh, I'm gonna pick Kobe Bryant now, mm -hmm. uh, Kareem, um, Shaq, and I do LeBron. I'm gonna put okay. Kobe in my top five, like in my that. top ten because Mike, wait, hold on, you said Mike, Kobe, Kareem, Shaq, LeBron. Mm -hmm. And and that's nothing wrong with that. The reason why I got Kobe in my second five was because he he idolized Mike. So yeah. I ain't gonna put him in the same category as somebody who, who did it. Too, Mike. Right. I can't put but, Kobe over Bron though. I can. Yeah, I can. I can. I mean, I, 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 I'm not even saying. Yeah, nah, no, Brown, I mean, no, I'm, 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 and reason, 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 this is what I'm saying. RP could be LeBron over Kobe. As, all, as, as an all around player, that's why he made my top five because as an all around player, LeBron does it. He has the size, he has the ability. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, but the thing about it is, the only thing that kind of pissed me off with LeBron is that LeBron, when he's supposed to take over, he don't. He, he don't. He all. It, it's nothing wrong with making the basketball play, but the the two things that could be on his record that he can never ever ever live down. For one, you got even though Golden State was a great team, you got to get at least one game. That last pass where he dumped it down to George Hill and George Hill missed the two free throws. Bron, you got to take that shot. But the but the but the one that he can't get over. Is that Dallas series? You win that series. I don't give a damn. Yeah. You cannot. There's no damn way, Jordan. That losing that Dallas series would be Michael Jordan losing the Seattle SuperSonics when when Gary Payton yeah. and Sean Kemp. That is the exact equivalent team. You Dallas, cannot had, do that. Dirk, that's, that's it. I don't. But come on, come that's on, Dirk. Dude, Dirk is, that, that, Dirk that's is. it. Come on, so, man. So one man. You, so you basically telling me you telling me Jordan can be that one man that can be. Jordan, you. Jordan, Jordan, I can't Jordan, Dirk beat you. Jordan, Jordan would Dirk Jordan would have never. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki would have never be Jordan in his sleep. Keep in mind. I mean, you, yeah. you think about it. The two championships I told you, 1997, Michael Jordan beat Utah. Now what's the name was the? I think he won uh, MVP. Won it? Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Carl yeah. Malone and John Stockton. Two of the greatest, greatest yep. top fifty of all time. Michael Jordan scored 38 points in a hostile environment where the air is thin in Utah, and he had the flu. He had the flu. If a player had the flu this day in this generation, he's sitting out in low management. For sure. See, that's why he can't be put do as the greatest, that's for that reason. Sure. He cannot. Jordan ain't get his pay as much money as these guys, and this man refused. He that man 6-0 in the finals. So, so, Six and zero. Oh. So I, I I ask these young people all the time who the great like. So the name the the, the greatest I ain't but one for me who the greatest NFL player of all time. NFL. Yeah, player. You just you, you have one player you got to get. I'm going with Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> greatest. Mm. I'm going with Lawrence Taylor. There's so NFL. many like. No, nah, really? I'm going with Lawrence Taylor. Look, 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 like, you can he argue. Great, he the greatest. You can line argue line. like. I'm, I'm, I'm going with Lawrence Taylor. Look, if I you had to pick one player, the greatest if, if, if I had to pick one, you can argue like Bo Jackson, Tom Brady. I mean, you got, you got to pick one. Like. Brady's a goat of football, though. Yeah, I'm probably putting Brady. I, I, I'm not putting Brady. I'm not picking Brady over Matt Tanner. I'm not. Yeah, me neither. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nah, that's just me. Yeah, just that me neither. I'm picking Joe Montana before I pick Brady. Yeah. So, so who? My, will, will be my greatest player? I would have to go with Jerry Rice. Mm. All right. Yeah. 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 Now, with the, the Lawrence Taylor, game changer. I, I can't even argue that. Yeah, yeah. But, sure. I'm, but I'm going to go with Jerry Rice because I know what Jerry Rice did. When he got the football, he out. And he did it against the, the best competition. He had the best cornerbacks. Whoever was the best corner, whether it was Dion or whoever else, they checked him, and that man did his thing. Because now, now this question is going to base on some. So who you think the best NFL player ever? Like, he said Jerry Rice. I'm going to go Jerry I Rice. I said Lawrence Taylor. I'll probably say Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah, that's so what now, they know. All right, so so now, so was they even in the top ten in their draft class when they came up? It don't matter. So just so just what I'm trying to because it's a lot of busts in the draft class. Okay, so yeah. what, so so in everything so, NFL so this, and NBA. So, so this is gonna be irrelevant to to all the young. 
It don't matter what school you go to. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what you do in college. Mm -hmm. Can you do it on the highest level? Right. Those players, Jerry Rice, Mississippi Valley State. Mm -hmm. He won the number one receiver coming out there, but he's the greatest of all time. Yeah. Lawrence Taylor. He won't the first linebacker come out there, but he's the greatest linebacker of all time. The UNC. Tom Brady. He was like the round six, round seven. Yes. yes. So yeah. now, and so yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. So 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 what what That's I'm trying crazy. to tell you is, just because you can be a four star, and you can go to Michigan or Alabama, mm-hmm. they don't make them better than you or Will Miles. So that's why I want y'all to realize. Hey, you got to think about it. Tom so, Brady had good receivers in college, and he had good cop had receivers in pros. You can think about it. Know who Tom Brady the receiver was in college? David Terrell. David Terrell. Yeah. Where he went to school at? Huguenot. Richmond. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of Number the, eight overall pick. Yeah, yeah. So he wanted to go to Chad Pennington. Right. He don't get no credit. Yeah. He don't get no credit. Like, they don't talk they don't about, even talk about David. They don't, nah, nah, let me tell you they something. I don't about, even know who nah, Dave is. David, that, that's hey, why we here to educate hey, you. Hey, David Terrell and, and people know from the Richmond City. Y'all Jackson know he, Ward and Southside. He was that dog. Now, I, and, and this, then this no hands down. That you can had a squad. With. Made he, Tom Brady. Him and Bruce Branch back then. You can had a squad. Penn State. Because they, you know, right. they lost against Lee Davis because they was gonna play us. Right. But they lost against Lee Davis. Lee Davis beat him on the last um, play of the game. And Lee Davis. And back in the day, Terrell, and back in the day, Lee Davis was known for running backs and their yep. quarterbacks, mm-hmm. wide receivers. Uh, what's, what's his name was a tight end for them receiver coach? What's his name? Um, mm-hmm. I should know this because I ain't never really like him. Yeah, Latrell, Latrell Scott. Scott. Yep. So yeah, Latrell's all South Metro, Central, tight end. So yeah, uh, yeah, but, Maryland now. But, yeah, 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 Maryland. Yeah, run by coach. But what I'm trying to say, just because you go to a school, not to any kids that see this podcast, just because you are not the the quote unquote superstar, mm-hmm. don't mean you're not the best player on your team. Right. So don't emphasize things because he gets all the pub. Like for me, like I tell anybody, like me, I see a lot of athletes mm-hmm. at Marshall, mm-hmm. but you know, like. Our best player was that safety, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And and our, our running back, he was hurt, but if he came back, he's the best player just because they can name a kid. We we ain't named none of the first round quarterbacks, mm-hmm. none of the first picks in the draft mm-hmm. as the greatest players of all time. No. So what that tells what that tells the kid, you can be who the hell you want to be, right? Unless you, but but you got to put that work that thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Jerry Rice, he caught a lot of balls. Miss Lawrence Taylor, mm-hmm. Tom Brady. He went in the sixth round at Michigan. 199 pick. Right? So just go to show you just because. That's crazy. That, that don't mean because y'all at Virginia Union, West Virginia State, that is that is something that y'all just don't. They will don't, find you. If you're good, they, they will find you. They will find you. Like, they they, they, they found me on Marshall, right? And I was 5'8 and 160 pounds. And nobody was like, man, you ain't you going to have a chance. But I, I was just willing to prove everybody wrong. And so then th- nobody had to tell me that I was good. I had that motivation in my mind and my mindset that I was good. Mm-hmm. So as long as you have that, like this, I don't care about this whole podcast. We joke, we have fun. Yeah. But man, but if you got to be your own superstar, you got to be your own supporter. Mm-hmm. You you got to be. If stuff goes bad for you, you got to make it right. Mm-hmm. Right. You have to make it better. Just because not everybody's gonna be on your side, right? Not everybody's gonna be on your side. Not everybody's gonna say, "Hey, Miles." And will man, good job. You doing this? Mm-hmm. You, we're, they're not. We ain't get to college. Your coach is gonna cuss y'all out. You keep know pushing. I mean? He's gonna just keep pushing. Keep, keep pushing. And just man. keep trying it, right? And don't get down. Y'all gonna have y'all bad days. Yeah, I can't always look for a validation from. Us. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, you know, and I, and I and I just say first of all, congratulations to both of you. Congratulations to your families. Yeah. Congratulations to the coaching staffs at both schools that help you, Glen Allen and Verona, respectively. Because, you know, a lot of times that stuff don't get talked about, and to see yeah. two young men get ready to prepare themselves to go to school, you know. I, again, I say this on some podcasts. I never got an opportunity to put that hat on and the shirt on, you know what I'm saying, you know, sports-wise. But to see your family, getting to see your kids graduate, and I did get to see my son graduate from high school and college, now he go to grad school. Congratulations. Um, thank you, man. Going to George Mason for grad school next month. So I, I would just say to you guys, man, make your families proud, you know, because okay. one thing that you, you don't want to do you know, it set back for me. I had to pay for my son, you know, private school ed- education and for college. And what people don't understand how much that set your family's back. Yeah. When it comes to having to pay for school. So make the best of the situation. I'm being deaf. You know, because nowadays the way jobs are, and I'm not sure what you guys want to do 
after your career is over with, you know, because everybody can't make it to play pro ball. There's no G League in football, yep. you know what I'm saying? So you have to make it, and you fighting against this, and then your contracts are not guaranteed, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So whether you guys decide, yeah, I want to just go and become, you know, uh, college coaches like your uncle or professional level, you know, you could do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, I did not play professional. I didn't even play in high school. But I've been around enough and I've seen enough people, the people who made it, who people who did make it. There was a lot of guys that grew up in my neighborhood that, that played and, and didn't make it. They were very well. Didn't make it. Got killed. Got caught up in the life. You know what I'm saying? I look at Dave Terrell. Dave Terrell yeah. was one of my closest friends. People don't know. Dave Terrell, you know, and Henry Harrison used to come over there to Highland Park. We, we had a soccer ball. Henry and we used to play basketball team. Yeah, he played basketball, TJ. He yeah. was tough. We, we, we used to got to take a soccer ball when we had a football, and we was playing, you know, four on four with a soccer ball playing football. I was the quarterback. They was the receivers. You know what I'm saying? That's what we did. And to see Dave make it, when he made it, all of us made it. Yep. But he also made some decisions when he got that money, which we ain't going to go too much into, but you can the people who know, they know what he went through, yeah. but he made it. Number eight overall pick for the Bears. Yeah. Tom Brady was his quarterback at Michigan. Yeah. And when he made it, we was like, man, Richmond made it. Yeah. But he also made some decisions that were not so great that that's why you don't really know, talk about people who he is and, now. And, 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 and to pick it back on what he said, and, and life, man, you're going to make some mistakes. Right. I have made a, you know, a lot of mistakes. Me too. And you're going to you know, have them. But you can't let those, those mistakes overshadow what you're doing. And I tell kids all the time, what defines you yesterday is not, can't define you who you are right. today. And don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. It's what you man, do afterwards. Have some friends tell you, man, what you can do. You know, if somebody tell you, man, what you can't do, then you don't need them around you. Man, you can't do this, Will. You can't do this. Well, you don't need them around you right now. You know what I mean? And at this age of time, um, Star Bella, at this age of time, life is, man, it's is, 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 is so secretive, man, because a lot of young people in Richmond are, are dying for gun violence. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just have to be safe. You just have to be, um, you just got to be, you know, guided. Your parents can, can, can do everything for you, but one bad decision can can ruin your life. Can ruin your life. So it's just one bad decision. So being um, in the wrong place, wrong time. Wrong yeah. With the wrong so just people. you know, it's all about making sensible decisions and not senseless decisions. And mm. you know, quote. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about making sensible decisions <laughs> yeah. and not senseless ones. And I always say, you know, we all make mistakes, but it's what you do afterwards yeah. is what count. You know, so. I tell people, yeah, I can sit up here. I don't have to have a be a, a, a great athlete or a great entertainer to to do a podcast. This is y'all's podcast. This is the community's podcast. And like I told you off air, it's all about getting guys out here that couldn't be heard. Because if I didn't do what I do, it ain't like and, I, and not to no disrespect to the to local networks, but I don't see them coming to y'all school to put a microphone in your mouth unless you win a chip. And even then, then it's like a quick one or two minute, whatever. They ain't coming over there to maybe do something like that. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. And I got sponsors like Rick Stockle and Dr. O, shout out to them for making this stuff happen and seeing my vision uh, of just trying to make this stuff happen for you all. So I appreciate you guys, you know, coming on and trusting me and your fans trusted me to just give you guys a platform to say that. And that's so much stuff that we could talk about because we could probably go on for now. We didn't even get to talk about your state championship in basketball, that that exciting game that you just went through, yeah. uh, hitting those free throws and and all of that stuff, man. You know, and I want to say shout out to your family, man, because yeah. again, I do have the experience of having a son to win a state championship. I experienced that, but I'll be honest with you now, and I say this to some people, that watching y'all going through your, your road to get to that championship, the private school won't the same. Mm -hmm. Now, the competition was much tougher because my son played on the highest level, but the excitement, because people don't follow private school basketball like that, is pub, pub, ain't nothing like public school basketball yeah. as far as that. It ain't where it used to be where the competition was great because everything is down now, but... I just said, man, congratulations to y'all finishing your get y'all y'all first step to real life because now the real world hits now. See now, y'all y'all legal. Mama and daddy ain't really got to be doing much of nothing, but as long as y'all doing the right thing, your family gonna support you. Like like D said, man, y'all gonna make some mistakes. Mm -hmm. 
You know, but don't be afraid, feel afraid to ask him. You might can't go to your uncle. You might go to Nod. You might not feel like you go to Nod. You might go to Boom. You might go to Coach Jones. You might go to your dad. But somebody who you may trust that you may have to go go talk to to, 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 to get some some answers, questions, you know what I'm saying? And to, and, and to piggyback on that, Lee, I just want to thank these these um, two young men for just coming out, man, mm-hmm. and just being on this podcast today, man. Yeah. And just, you know, they, they'll get a – they they are learning how to win. When you go to college, when you get your interviews, man, mm-hmm. this is like the first step, in, the first stepping stone. You know what I'm saying to do that. Um, and I just want to tell you, thank you, man, for allowing me to come on this show, man. No, I appreciate um, you, man. But I do want to do something special. I want to do a raffle. Oh yeah, yeah, for you, yeah. Man, do for, that for Marshall University, man. So the raffle is going to be um, September the 23rd. We play Virginia Tech. Um, Coach Juan, we will get in that ass. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, but, hey, uh, Key, he, he started already, Key Yeah, he already know. He already <laughs> Shout out but, to Key uh, But I just want to do a raffle, man. Um, four tickets if to, to, to help his show, man. So he going to give you some, some of the raffle information. Mm-hmm. I'm here for the tickets. Um, there will be four tickets, man, on the 50-yard line, man. When we play Virginia Tech, um, September the 23rd, it will be at 7 p.m. on a Saturday night. And I'll be at one of them. So. At, 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 Joan, at Joan Edwards Stadium at Marshall University. So... Um, but just, just thanks, um, um, Lee, man, for just bringing us on the show, man. Um, but, you know, Miles and, and Will, I just want to try to give a shout out to the people that, you know, mm-hmm. who helped y'all get to this part, man, and just shout them out, man. And, um, oh, for sure. Well, I mine would be like an hour long. Well, I mean, you could make it quick, but I'm going to say shout out, shout, shout out to v- Virginia Union, shout out to West Virginia State, man, for giving you guys the opportunity, first yeah. of all. Yes, sir. Y'all outside there. Um, shout out to my mom and dad. Um, Shout out to Big Nod, Coach Boom, uh, Coach AT. Yeah, you got you got a one minute time. Now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my football coaches, Coach Marcus, um, Coach Q. Um, all y'all love y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all for um, believing in me and um, just just pay, helping me pave the way for um, for the future. I, I I really do appreciate y'all for sure. Uh, shout out my mom. Shout out my dad. Uh, shout out Coach D, uh, shout out Coach Jones, shout out uh, Coach Pennington up at State, shout out Coach Lee, giving me a chance to uh, continue my dream. And thank you. Shout out for uh, having me on this podcast too. Yeah, shout out to you too. Oh yeah, and shout out to uh, Coach Brock, my quarterback coach. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, yo, you, he got me to right good, man. Sure. You know, I, I I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, I, I'm like I said, I'm just nobody, man. I'm just just somebody with a microphone and a platform that just allow y'all to do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? But we go we go do some of the raffle tickets, man. Yes, you got opportunity to do that to get instead of that fifty yard line in the cold against Virginia Tech. No, nah, no, nah, it's, 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 oh, it's, it's gonna be in September. So it's, oh, I, I want to yeah, make sure because yeah, West yeah. Virginia kind of different, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you and know, so, it's gonna be like so. Six, uh, so who's on? That, there, that's man? still cool, um, man. Just get with him, Hoodie man. Weather. He go he go get the raffle tickets. Me and him will talk about it tonight. Um, but I, I, I get him or he get him a raffle tickets, and everything that is gonna um, that he, he get received is gonna help his podcast, man, to grow and to come bigger, man. I just wanted to, get, to thank him um, for for allowing me um, and everything. So I want to meet my daughter real quick. What's your name? Bella. And this is. <laughs> come on, sweetie. Right. I let them give them the mic for a quick second. Okay. So, what's your name? London. Okay, how old are you? Ten. What school you go to? Dunbarn Elementary. Okay, Bella, how old are you? Oh, she ain't shy. What school you go to? Hallay Elementary. Okay. What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing you like to do? Um, tablet. Tablet. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> well, so these are my daughters right here, man. So um, and I have a son, Dakari, too. So I just want like for my kids, man, for me to sacrifice and do what I do, man, because I do it for them. Um, and I love them, man. I just want to tell you, Lee, thank you for having me on the show, man. Um, just, just any time, man. If I'm in Richmond, I'm available, man. And um, I couldn't do what I want to do tonight because I had my babies here. But you know, um, uh, CT, you know, you, you know, I talk that smoke. Quetuan, you know, y'all can get it any time y'all want to. You know, what I mean? so, <laughs> shout out to CT, man. <laughs> yeah, man, CT, my boy. Can I, you too? You know what I mean, man. So those, those my guys, man. They, they are really good guys, um, and everything. So you got something to want to tell your man? Go ahead. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, and and, and shout out to everybody for um, you say right here for for watching Ball in the VA this special episode, man. I got these two young men on here, Will Noel Jr., Miles Derricott, You know, 
Um, and like I said, congratulations to you guys and your families, man. Thank you know, I want to say to everybody, make sure that y'all like and subscribe. I didn't get to really do that today, man. We just had some tense conversations, man. But y'all go out there and like that Morissette Media channel, man. This is how we keep the lights on, man. We need more comments. We need the likes. Last episode was great, but we need y'all to do that. And we're going to do this raffle, man, so we can see if, what y'all going to do, man. We need this this content, man, because if without y'all, you know, it's no us. So make sure that y'all hit that like button and subscribe, all of that stuff, man. Follow us on Instagram, Ballin VA underscore podcast 804. We on TikTok as well, Facebook, Twitter. We on all that. And I just want to say we out. <laughs>